Aloha, namaskar, and hello. This is Anu Hitchell reporting from Marrakesh from COP22, COP Wendu. And this is five minutes at five. So I will give you a little update on the second and third days of the second week of the COP22, which is the conference of the parties to the Framework Convention on Climate Change. So yesterday, on Tuesday, we had a very historic moment. It was the first time the Conference of the Parties to the Paris Agreement, which was signed last year at COP21, the first time that those parties have come together to discuss how to implement and how to go forward from here. So uh, it was indeed uh, an historic moment, and the emphasis being on moment, because they opened the, uh, the, the meeting and they closed it almost right away. This is because they don't have all 196 countries on yet and they would like to get more countries rat ratified uh, before they go ahead and do some more nitty gritty work. So they're going to take it up again uh, next year. But in the meantime, hopefully there will be more countries ratifying the agreement. This doesn't mean, however, that the Paris Agreement is not on. It certainly is on. It will be going forward from here. And uh, there is other work that is going on, but it's just that the conference of the parties to the Paris Agreement uh, opened and closed their, uh, their meeting in about a second yesterday. So that was sort of the big news. But for that, uh, a lot of uh, heads of state and uh, ministers and so on were here. It was called the high-level segment. They gave a lot of speeches and uh, reiterated their um, their uh, commitment to climate change issues. And I'm here live at the venue um, in Morocco, in Marrakesh. Uh, and the other thing that happened was that um, there were several dialogues on how to enhance ambition. That is, how to get countries to commit to more and more uh, cutbacks on emissions uh, and that's that's the other thing that the European Union and Indonesia these are all going forward uh, places like India not so much they're waiting and of course the big question here has been that has been looming is what is the US going to do so the superstars or the celebrities uh, of climate change were here as well a couple of them we saw them today on Wednesday and uh, one of them was John Kerry Secretary of State for the United States he gave a very um, rousing speech some people thought others thought it was more um, hopeful but also just trying to make the best of a bad situation perhaps um, of course there are, there are rumors and there there are possibilities that the US could pull out entirely but he also seemed to be a little bit reassuring which is that maybe uh, that wasn't going to be the case or even if that were the case climate action would still carry on because there were so many market-based mechanisms at this point, meaning that there are so many businesses already on their way to doing sustainable things and that it makes business sense for them. So really, Paris is just a sort of a formal agreement, but there are things happening anyway. And uh, so, so the message was not to despair. Uh, the other person that I saw here and, and managed to get a clip from was uh, Inga Anderson, who is head of the IUCN. She had been in Hawaii just a couple months ago, and she was uh, very gracious and gave us another a little uh, inspiring message for our young people, saying that they should bring us to a safe place, bring our planet to a safe place for, um, for the next generation. And so follow us. This time, however, this is not the, the general atmosphere here is not as high as Paris, but and combined with this beautiful backdrop of Morocco, it really feels like I'm in a movie set. And then with uh, last week's election results, this is this has all been very surreal. It is very quiet here in some ways, much quieter than Paris, a little more relaxed. There isn't as much going on at this very moment, but uh, there have of course been hordes of bureaucrats and businesses and researchers here, including me and my students. And uh, we will see you next, uh, probably tomorrow at uh, 5 at 5, reporting again on the day's events. So this is Anu Hittel reporting from Mar Marrakesh, Morocco at COP22, COP22. Aloha, namaskar and goodbye.